Hello everyone. I'm Hello everyone. I'm pretty confident that everyone who has a Jeep or have been into Jeeps have at some point had this kind of problem. The problem is the gas rings. They doesn't work. It is kind of like a Jeep thing to have that issue, but there is a solution and the solution is very easy and very well working. It's called a stick and you take the stick and put it here and then you could put it on here like this and now it's solved. So if you want to see more videos about how to fix stuff with your Jeep, click here to see the full playlist. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, we're not gonna do that today. Uh, today we're actually gonna fix this in a proper way. We're gonna change out a, the gas struts because they are old and they need to be changed out. Uh, in this Jeep, it's quite straightforward because there's no trim pieces or anything in front of them. So you just screw them out and put on the new ones. Uh, I think there is some other Jeeps and uh, Grand Cherokees. This is a Laredo model. And I think there is some of the limited models and stuff like that. Uh, you might need to remove some trim. This one, however, is hold on by a bolt over here and another one in the bottom. So, and then I suppose you are removing this one as well. You're probably just pulling that one out or something like that. The bolts we need though is a little bit strange. They are like a star pattern because why would you want to use normal nuts? But before I do anything, I'm going to open up the one I got and see that they are an actual fit. And we clearly see now that they are the same. The, the bolts goes down here uh, and the other one goes down here. And when I do this, I'm just gonna hold it just in case. Oh, now it comes off. And let's get the stick. So, how do we get this one off? I think we could just like bend it off. Yeah. Just push it off and it comes off. So, the old one is out. And now you just take the other one, the new one. And put it in. There is this one in the very top that you need to match and put that into a hole up on this one. I think, however, I'm gonna start by putting this one on, and that one clipped on very easy. And from here, I could just bend it a little bit. Maybe I have to push it down, but it's really hard. So uh, what I need to do is to put this all the way up on the top. and get it into that hole. And since this is a new one, I should be able to let it go. Yeah, uh, that's a big difference. And push the door a little bit out of the way. <laughs> it's there. So if you are on a budget, you could kind of like solve with just swapping out one. but it kind of not opens up as you want, but it holds it in place. And we're not on a budget and we have another one, so we're gonna change both. And the trick I learned now is that you should push this up as far as you can. So I suppose I'm not gonna need this one anymore and the last thing i'm going to do is just to tight this one up so we're done
No, let's see. As, and let's open it up. That's nice. That's how it should do. Now, it was quite simple. Uh, though it was one of those kinds of things that were simple, but a little bit of a hassle, uh, but not really advanced. You just have to push it up um, enough uh, so you don't have tensions on the screws when you're like putting it down. Anyway, it's one of those things that you, you should just do. It doesn't take long. You don't really need to change clothes or anything like this. Um, if you want to see more things about the Jeep and how to do stuff on the Jeep, click here to see the full playlist and click here to subscribe. Thanks for watching and I see you later.